What does it actually mean to walk in the flesh? Coming up next on Pastor Bob Daily. We hear these words used interchangeably, flesh, spirit. We don't exactly know what it means. We know we're supposed to walk in the spirit and avoid walking in the flesh, but we're not sure exactly what that is. I had a young man that wrote to me and he said, I've been trying really hard not to walk in the flesh. And he asked the people in his church exactly what that meant, a very conservative church. and. They said, well, it means that you shouldn't watch any movies, that you shouldn't watch television, that you can't listen to rock and roll music, any kind of music that has a beat, that you need to have a nice clean cut haircut, you need to wear the right kinds of clothes, etc., etc. Because anything that would touch those areas would be walking in the flesh. And of course, walking in the spirit is avoiding rock and roll music. You know, folks, we just don't get it, do we? Walking in the flesh and walking in the spirit has to do with your priorities and your focus. It has to do with where your eyes are at. You know, you could avoid music, you could avoid movies and television, and you could have the right haircut and still be walking in the flesh. If your eyes aren't on the prize, if your eyes aren't on Jesus, that's exactly what happens. The Bible says to fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and the perfecter of our faith. Can we do that when we're involved in the things of the world? Well, folks, we're in the world. And those things that we keep talking about, things like movies and television and music, they're always changing. You know, I'm uh, old enough now so that I've heard all the rules many times. Um, you know, I remember when Elvis Presley was popular and all the Christians said, that's not Christian music. Christians should never listen to that. You know, and then a few years later, there were Christian singers that did Christian music that sounded like Elvis Presley. And of course today, you know, a whole lot of our worship music sounds like U2 or gosh, name the bands. So. You know, we, we emulate things around us. That doesn't mean that it's bad necessarily. It just depends on where your heart is at. And uh, do I watch every kind of music and every kind of television show? Absolutely not. But here's a standard that I have for my life. I want everything in my life to reflect my belief system, to reflect my faith in Jesus Christ. You know, if I listen to music that is contrary to what I really believe, it's not good for me. I wouldn't listen to it. If I uh, watch television that is very sexual or very raunchy or, or jokes at the expense of someone else's feelings, I feel kind of bad about that. I won't do it. But there are some things that I watch and I really enjoy. And you know, I'm a bit of a sci-fi freak too. You know, I like sci-fi movies and and uh, there are a lot of things that I enjoy. And of course, as you already know, I like rock and roll, heavy metal, a lot of styles of music that I enjoy. And uh, it doesn't take me away from the Lord. So there are decisions you have to make, but you have to define flesh and spirit first. Hope that helps. God bless you. Have a great day.